Hi, this is Kenny Shea speaking. Uh, I'm from the National United Un University Department of Energy Engineering. Uh, this one, uh, this unit, uh, section two, will control, uh, consider uh, at a slightly different condition. In the previous, we used a potential step method, but uh, the potential is so negative, the entire reaction uh, process or the current is controlled by the mass transfer and then the reaction is irreversible. But in this unit, we, we are consider uh, the potential is not so negative. The reaction was controlled by mass transfer as well as a kinetic control. That means uh, both you change the electrical potential or the agitation rate, the mass transfer rate will be changing the current detect on the electron. And then on the electrical surface, uh, the reaction also we consider is a reversible reaction. Let's see why it will happen. Over here, the reaction, the stem, the O may be reduced into R. But in this case, we consider the R also, the possible the R will be oxidized into the O. So the, the potential step, the concentration profile and the current quite similar as a section one the at a mass transfer control. The different uh, over here is uh, when we step the potential from E1 to E2 over here. It's different from the previous at the mass transfer control is uh, the potential E2 is not so negative as the previous. So it's slightly lower than previous uh, potential step. Because this action, um, so the concentration profile CO as it shows on the middle diagram, the CO plot as a function of X. The added electrical surface is not at a zero, but at a given fixed value of the CO's at the surface. And then the current also, of course, slightly lower than what the, at the uh, mass transfer limit condition. The government equation we consider for the old species is the same as before. You have to consider material balance is an unsteady state material balance. So it's function of time and the function of location. But over here, we also had to consider R species because the R species will be generated at the electrical surface and then diffused from the electrode and out to the, into the electrode uh, solution. So we had to consider the R species, the conservation of the R species. And at the electrical surface, the electrical potential, uh, we can consider as a, a nurse equation, the E as a function of the concentration of O and the concentration of R at the electrical surface, that means at x equal to zero location. This is a nurse equation. The electric we consider is a reversible reaction at the thermodynamic equilibrium. So the electrical potential is a function of the surface concentration over here. You can see that. Uh, this nurse equation, the E, we can um, rearrange it. So the concentration ratio CO and the CR, CO divided by CR, the ratio can be expressed as a function of potential exponential RT over NF, the E minus EO star. The EO, EO plum uh, means at the uh, thermodynamic equilibrium and the concentration both is at the unity, then equal to one. The, the potential. So the theta actually you can see regard as a potential, dimensionless potential you may see is a function of E. And then the boundary condition at the electrical surface actually uh, is a, you may say, is a flux balance. However, the material diffuse onto the electrical surface at x equal to zero, the O species diffused onto the electrical surface will be equal to the R space diffused out uh, at the electrical surface. So they should be keep a um, material balance. 
and then also the initial condition boundary condition for the R species O species O species which is specified for the R species or the O species at the time equal to zero and R species should be zero because at the beginning there's no R species here but and the O species equal to C O star but and then the second the the boundary condition is at x, x equal uh, approach to infinity and then that uh, uh, far far away from the electro surface there's nothing will be changed uh, by the electrochemical regime so the r species at x equal to infinity approach to infinity is a zero because at the beginning the the r species uh, is zero and then the, for the O species, uh, when X approach to infinity, it's equal to C O star. So with the initial condition and the boundary condition, the government equation can be solved. And then we reach a similar, uh, like a correlate uh, uh, equation. The I equal is a function of uh, T um, one over half this. But over here we had a correction, correction term uh, over the denominator, one plus cosine and the theta. The cosine is a const, is a constant, is a ratio of a diffusivity of R versus uh, divided by the diffusivity of R species. And then the theta is a function of potential over here. So if you are not control at the mass transfer limiting condition, then the current is a function of potential theta in this in this con uh, in this condition. So um, this is the calculated result for given uh, given uh, the diffusivity, the potential change from the uh, the one to one point four to three point two like this going and then the, the current will be gradually decrease. So this one is uh, at the reversible electrical condition and then the potential is not so negative. The, uh, actually the current was controlled by the uh, mass transfer and the kind of mixed controlled condition. And then the cosi uh, is a constant. Over here we assume the diffusivity of our O species and the R species uh, are equal, so the cosine equal to one, and then the theta actually represent of the potential. So the potential on the plot on the uh, left hand side, the current as a function of time, and then it's a function of theta. You can see that at the theta different value plug in, and then the current will be plot. The one thing the still the current will be decreased as a time go by for a given um, theta value or the given potential. But as the potential um, uh, gradual from the uh, gradual reduced and then the current you can see increased from the uh, yellow, purple, uh, pink and then to the blue line you can see the current gradual increase at a given time. And then on the right hand side, I just can compare as a, this, this equation is a potential control at the mass transfer limiting condition. So the potential is no, uh, is so negative, uh, you change the potential, nothing will be changed. So the potential turn actually was eliminate. So you don't see the theta and the cosine inside the equation. And uh, you can con and the plot that we can compare the at the mass transfer control uh, condition. That's mean diffusion. You can see, and then at the mass transfer kinetic control the condition uh, represent as reversible. You can see the mass transfer control the condition. The current is much higher at a given time, but uh, they show similar behavior as the time go by and uh, the current will be decreased. So this is some other condition. For instance, if it, 
I step the potential gradual from the E1 to 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the current will be come up like a, a 2, 3, 4, 5, like this. 4 and 5, uh, we assume the, the potential so negative, the current actually controlled by the mass transfer limiting condition. So if you control at the potential 4 or 5, the current almost the same because they're controlled by the mass transfer condition, mass transfer rate, not the electrokinetics. So if we plot, uh, we will sample the current at a specific time, tau, tau over here. Then we plot the current against the potential. Then it will show like this. At the um, potential equal to one, then the current slow. As the, the potential step more negative to the two, three, and four, and five, you can see the current was gradually increased. But at the potential at the four and the five, it's at a mass transfer limiting condition. You change the potential, the current will not be changed because current was controlled by the mass transfer limiting condition. Or you can change the potential here from the E1 to E2, like uh, before. And then you step back to the E3. Then what happened over here, you can see the current as a function of time. And from the zero to tau, the current behavior is similar to before. But at the E3, the, the time greater than tau, actually the current was reversed. Because we assume you control at the E1 is at the equilibrium, then you control the, the potential from E2 to E3. Actually, the, the reaction reversed, so the current was changed from the positive to the negative. And there will be similar behavior, something like that.